Revelation chapter number 5. We'll begin reading in verse number 5. The Bible says, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits uh, of God. By the way, I've just got a little note on fly leave my Bible the Holy Ghost gave me. Seven horns shows his omnipotence. Uh, seven eyes shows his omniscience. Uh, and the seven spirits shows his omnipresence. So there you go. Uh, verse number uh, uh, 7 says, And he came and he took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Uh, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, uh, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Uh, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, uh, for thou wast slain uh, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, tongue, and people and nation. Uh, and had made us unto our God kings and priests, uh, and we shall reign on the earth. Uh, and I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beast, uh, and the elders, and the number of them were ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands and thousands, uh, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb uh, that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. Let's pray. Father, we bless your holy name. Uh, we're thankful, Lord, uh, you're not only the Lamb, we're thankful you're our Lamb today. Uh, Lord, we're thankful for the forgiveness of sins because of the precious blood uh, you shed on Calvary. Uh, now, Father, we've certainly enjoyed ourselves this morning. Uh, the Sunday school message was wonderful. Uh, I'm glad we got a hope uh, uh, in the Lord Jesus. Uh, God, we're thankful for the good singing. We're thankful for the good spirit of giving here today. Uh, Lord, we're just thankful that we serve a good God. Uh, and Father, I pray for the next few minutes you just manifest yourself through the preaching of the Word of God. Uh, I pray you'd help your people. Uh, you'd encourage and edify the saints of God. Uh, God, if there be one amongst us lost without God, uh, I pray today would be the day of their salvation. Uh, Father, I pray you'd just show up big, uh, We'll get little uh, and make much of Jesus. Uh, Father, we'll just thank you and praise you for all you do. Uh, for it's in the holy and wonderful name of a holy and wonderful God we do pray. Uh, the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, in these verses, I want you to notice, first of all, uh, the person who is uh, the Lamb. Look in verse number 6. Uh, for behold, uh, for I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne... Uh, now the four beasts uh, in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. Uh, look at verse number 5. Uh, said, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Uh, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Uh, who is this lamb? Uh, his name is Jesus. Uh, hey, can I say John saw him coming down to the river Jordan uh, and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, uh, which taketh away the sin of the world. Uh, we see the person who is the Lamb. Uh, I want you to notice the prevailing of the Lamb. Uh, look again in verse number 5. He says, uh, And hath prevailed uh, to open the book uh, and to loose the seven seals thereof. Uh, prior to this, John is weeping because there was nobody found in heaven, uh, nobody found on the earth, uh, nobody found under the earth uh, worthy to open the book. Uh, but then stood a lamb. Uh, there is one who is worthy. That's why that's banners on that back wall. Uh, when you exit the sanctuary, uh, never lose sight. Uh, one has prevailed. Uh, he conquered death, hell, and the grave. Uh, he alone is worthy. Uh, he is the worthy lamb. Uh, we see the person of the lamb. Uh, we see the prevailing of the Lamb. Uh, and I want you to notice the praise for the Lamb. Uh, in verse number 11, said, I behold and I heard uh, uh, the voice of many angels round about the throne, uh, and the beast, and the elder, uh, and the number of them was 10,000 uh, uh, times 10,000, uh, and thousands, uh, and thousands. It's a crowd. Can you get that picture? Uh, it's a heavenly host up there. Uh, and this is what they said. Uh, 
saying, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. You say, What are we going to do when we get to heaven? We're going to praise the Lamb. Hey, we're going to just give Him the glory to His name. He's the reason we get to go. And when we get there, we're going to make certain uh, we give Him the glory we couldn't do in this flesh. Uh, I want to preach for a few minutes this morning on this little thought. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Uh, I said hallelujah to the Lamb. Uh, hey, what a blessing to know Him. Uh, Preacher, why do we got to praise Him? Uh, uh, listen, uh, we can say hallelujah to the Lamb uh, for Him paying the price. Uh, uh, verse number 9 said, uh, uh, And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book uh, and to open the seals thereof. Uh, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood. Hey, he paid the price that nobody else could pay. Hey, if you lived a million lifetimes, you couldn't have earned the favor of God. There's not enough good works. There's not enough money you can give. There's not enough sweat that you can pour from your brow doing anything for God to ever get his attention. But one dark day on a little hillside outside Jerusalem uh, at a place called Golgotha uh, uh, suspended between heaven and earth uh, there was a lamb uh, uh, shedding his blood uh, and paying a price uh, hey, it don't matter if you're a word doped uh, or a drunkard uh, or a harlot uh, it don't matter if you was a gambler uh, it don't matter if you was a fornicator or adulterer uh, hey, it don't matter if you was just a good church pew writer uh, hey, you was lost in your sin uh, hey, but he uh, uh, shed his blood uh, and he took the handwriting of ordinances in the law uh, that made us guilty and condemned us uh, and he nailed them to his cross uh, took them out of, his, out of the way uh, where they'll never be remembered against us anymore uh, I bless the name of the Lord Jesus uh, and say hallelujah to the Lamb uh, uh, because he paid my price uh, I'd probably already be in hell uh, but I'm not going uh, I'm going to glory uh, why because he paid my sin debt uh, I say worthy is the Lamb uh, hallelujah to the Lamb uh, because he paid the price. Uh, can I say a hallelujah to the Lamb because of the plan of salvation? Hey, he didn't make it where only the nobles could get to go. He didn't make it where blue bloods get to go. Ned watches that show, The Crown. Uh, it's got all these hobnob blue bloods uh, who think they're better than everybody else. Uh, hey, he didn't make a way uh, where they got to go. Uh, hey, he didn't make a way uh, uh, where just a certain select few uh, got to go. Uh, a certain elected few got to go. Uh, no, he made a way. Uh, whosoever will may come. Uh, and he made it so simple uh, that even a little child could understand. Uh, uh, Wednesday night, Joseph said, I want to thank God for saving me. Just a little fella got saved last year. Uh, I'm glad he made it where a child can understand. Uh, I'm glad he made it uh, where a blind guy... Uh, 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 who uh, uh, heard about Jesus but didn't know Jesus uh, but last year in revival grabbed his son-in-law uh, and got to an altar uh, and met the Lord uh, hey it don't matter where you are, came from uh, what you've done uh, what side of the tracks you grew up on uh, what kind of family you came from uh, don't matter how far deep in sin you was uh, hey the plan of salvation works for all uh, hey uh, when you realize you're a sinner, uh, God convicts you of your sin. Uh, I got good news. Uh, you're a good candidate to get saved. Uh, all you got to do is turn from your sin and call on the Lord. Uh, for whosoever called on the name of the Lord uh, shall be saved. Uh, and he made a way uh, where everybody could get saved. Uh, the Bible says he tasted death for every man. I say hallelujah to the Lamb for the plan of salvation for paying the price hallelujah to the lamb for pardoning our sin pardon pardon I said pardon never to be remembered against us ever again uh, uh, some said they're as far as the east is from the west uh, some said they're behind God's back uh, 
John said they're gone. Hallelujah. Hey, the devil tries to drive them up. But the Lord says, what are you talking about? It's gone. It's been washed away. Their sins were scarlet. But I applied my blood. Now they're white as wool. They're robed in my righteousness. Hey, when I see them, I see myself. And there is no fault in him. Hey, I'm glad. Hallelujah. My sins are gone. Say hallelujah to the Lamb. Now, there's some Baptist preachers who want to remember your sin. Let me help you something. Seth, what one sin do you want Jesus to drag out from under the blood and hold against you? Because huh? he don't do that. He's gone. Even after you got saved, when you sin. He said, if you'll confess your sin, He's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Gone. Gone. Now, Baptist preachers might want to remember. Baptist deacons might want to remember. Sister Sally Snoot knows might want to remember it. But the Lamb of God don't remember it. I say hallelujah to the Lamb. Uh, and I say this, hallelujah to the Lamb for the partnership of friendship. He's more than just a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He entered a covenant with you and I, a blood covenant, uh, my dear friends, to become our partners. I'm in Him, uh, and He's in me. Uh, you know why He can't leave me or forsake me? Because He's in me, uh, and I'm in Him. Uh, you can't leave somebody that's in you. Are you listening? Uh, hey, uh, I'm in His hand. His hand's in the Father's hand. Uh, nobody can pluck me out of it. I praise the Lamb of God. Say hallelujah for the partnership of friendship. Uh, hey, when others are walking out, uh, He just steps forward and said, I'm still here. Uh, it'll be all right. Uh, I bless His holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I say this, hallelujah to the Lamb for the paths of righteousness. Brother Bob, I'm glad he didn't save us and leave us where he found us. Uh, I'm glad he reached down into that pit. In order to get into that pit to get us out, he had to get down in the pit. He became like us so we can become like him. And he came, he come down in that pit where you was, uh, and he got you out of that pit and set you on the solid rock, uh, and he anchored us within the veil. Hallelujah. Uh, hey, uh, and he put praise unto God in our mouth. Uh, he established our goings. Uh, he plucked us out of a sinful nature. Uh, we were dead uh, in trespasses and sins, uh, but he quickened us, uh, made us alive, uh, and he put us on the paths of righteousness. Uh, he said, now walk this way for a little while. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, I don't have to go to places that I used to have wanted to go. Uh, I don't have to be what I used to be. Because uh, when he plucked me as a brand from the fire, uh, he put me on this path of righteousness. Uh, and all I got to do is keep walking till I run into him in glory. Are you listening? Uh, I'm glad for the paths of righteousness. There's nothing like being clean. There's nothing like being right with God. There's nothing like walking with your face toward heaven like a flint, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and not have to keep looking back over your shoulder. Mm. There's nothing back there. Mm. I say hallelujah to the Lamb. And I say this, hallelujah to the Lamb for peace in the storms. You know it. One writer said you're either in a storm, you're just coming out of a storm, or you're fixing to go into a storm. Life's full of storms. Uh, you'll be sailing along, everything wonderful, and a storm blow up. Uh, can I say most of the time, they're storms not of your making. Hmm? you got winds of adversity. you got opposition and obstacles all along this life. But I'm glad every time trouble comes, there is a peace which passes all understanding. Can I say, He don't always have to calm the waters or stop the wind. All He has to do is calm me. 
and it'll be all right. Huh? As long as I know he's on board, it'll be all right. Huh? Ah, praise the Lamb for peace in the storms. Look at this world. They're so troubled because they don't have him. I was just in Virginia. I did not realize how liberal Southern Virginia was. I'm telling you, we saw as many people with masks as without. I thought, what in the world? Uh, I mean, people are scared to death. Now, if you're sick and you want a mask, hallelujah. And, and the masks are so wonderful, you don't need me to wear one because yours is so wonderful. We'll keep it away from you. Can I tell you something? I found this very funny. You know me. We stopped at a store yesterday on our way back. I don't remember which one it was. It was a store we stopped at. And Miss Nett was was paying for the stuff we was going to get, and I had a cart because, yeah, when we shop, we get carts. Might as well do it. Do it right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if we're only going to buy a couple things. We don't buy it. You know, let's, let's make it worth our while. We're going to stay in this line to pay for something. Let's pay for it all. Huh? So I go to put the cart back. I shove this cart. In comes this hotty toddy woman with her little cutesy mask on. You know, she's, she's afraid of the virus. She's got her mask on. She goes over and grabs a cart. Nobody sanitized that cart. You know, she grabbed that cart and went on to shopping. Oh, that mask really helped her, didn't it? Hmm? People are stupid. Uh, can I say that? There's a lot of people troubled. They're troubled over the economy. Interest rates are going up. How about that price of gasoline? What a blessing. Huh? Can I say? The economy's going to the toilet. We're getting no direction from the White House. By the way, if this pandemic was so bad and this Delta variant, which, by the way, they don't have a test for, they made it up. Okay, this Delta variant. The next one's going to be the Eddy variant. Now, it is pretty bad. Look at it. They're going to keep this, keep people fearful, dependent on the government. If it was so bad, why do they still let thousands upon thousands upon thousands of immigrants cross our southern border every day? And then they load them up in buses and planes and send them throughout the U.S. They don't test them. Is there a virus? Sure. It used to be called the flu. I'm just glad all these people are so worried about everything. You want some comic relief? Sit out here in the parking lot and watch people hit that roundabout. I do that during the day. I just watch people. The people don't. It's a circle. It's not that bad. But boy, watch people. It's funny. I'm telling you. People are so stressed out and they're so troubled. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We got peace in the midst of our storms. Real storms, real troubles, real problems. He walks in and everything's okay. Huh? Told y'all before Sunday school, I only slept a couple hours last night. I was sick. Miss Nett, she got to the point she wanted to take me to the hospital. I said, nope. What she didn't know was I already got a little peace on the deal. Huh? I was laying there about to die and that song came back to my mind he'll do it again I said thank you Lord be alright uh, about two hours later it's alright I'm just trying to help you I'm glad when you're troubled there's peace in the midst of your storm and I say this hallelujah to the Lamb because of the place he's going to prepare you know what blows my mind I'm, I'm worn out. I can't finish this, but let's, let me just. Say, you know what blows my mind? He's Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Before there was a world, there was an abode of God. Somewhere out there in that abode of God, there was a there was a business meeting between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Decided they was going to make everything, and then the Son said, "I'll go pay the sin debt." He was the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Now, this is what blows my mind, Brother Ray. The heaven that God has been in since the beginning. The heaven in chapter 5 where they're all shouting their lungs out, worthy is the Lamb. He said, that's not good enough for my bride. 
He said, I'm going to prepare a new place for my bride. He thinks so much of us where he has lived since the alpha of time is not good enough. I don't know about you, but I say hallelujah to the Lamb. Hey, it hadn't even entered in the heart of man what God hath gone to prepare for them that loves him. Listen, uh, uh, John did give us a little glimpse. Uh, said streets are pure gold, waters crystal clear, uh, uh, the walls are jasper, uh, the gates are pearl, uh, uh, the city has 12 foundations, each one of them uh, is a precious stone, each one of them uh, is a mile and a half high, it's 18 miles high, uh, the foundations of the city, uh, but all of that is nothing uh, compared to the one who lights the city, uh, his name is Jesus, uh, he'll dwell with us, uh, we'll dwell with him, uh, I say hallelujah for the place he's going to prepare uh, when God looked at Moses and Moses wanted to see God and God said you can't see me and live he said but there is a place by me in Revelation 3 Jesus said all them overcome I'll grant to sit with me in my throne uh, you say what are you trying to say I'm trying to say we're going to go see him and we're going to be with him we're going to see what Moses couldn't see. Even John in the verse, first verse of this chapter uh, says, I saw him. Uh, uh, listen, Moses didn't get to see him. Uh, 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 he only got to see the hinder parts. Uh, we're going to go see the whole thing. Uh, we're going to see the Lamb in His glory. And then I thought about this last thing. Hallelujah to the Lamb for the punishment He's reserved for the sorry, no good devil. I hate the devil. I hate what he does to families. I hate what he does to children. Miss Annette watches them shows about people that get murdered and abducted and all that, and all it does make me mad. Uh, but you know the devil's going to pay for every one of them things. For every lie he ever told, for every sin he ever caused, he's going to pay for it. And we'll get to witness him being sentenced with his punishment. We'll witness them strong angels binding him, throwing him off in the lake of fire. huh? We'll witness all of it. And I say hallelujah to the Lamb. Don't get it in your mind the devil has any power over God. He does not. He's utterly powerless before God. Oh, he has power, but he don't have power like God's got power. We give him too much power a lot of times. We're our own worst enemy. I said all that this morning. Say hallelujah to the Lamb. When was the last time you just thanked him? When was the last time you just told him you loved him? When was the last time you said, Hallelujah, that's my lamb? Hmm. Huh? The lamb of the Bible is my lamb. Huh? The Bible calls him the chief shepherd, the good shepherd, great shepherd. David said he's my shepherd. You know when the Bible becomes real? When you put yourself in the Bible. Huh? When you start seeing these promises are my promises. Because that's my Lord. That's my Lamb. And I say hallelujah to the Lamb. Maybe it's been a while since you've told Him thank you. Maybe it's been a while since you've told Him you love Him. Maybe you don't know Him today. We'd love to introduce you to Him. But we want to give you an opportunity to do business with the Lamb. I promise you one thing. You can't tell Him you love Him enough. Tell Miss Annette I love her every day. Hmm? Why would I not tell my Lord that I love Him every day? Hmm? listen when was the last time you told him thank you he's been good to you he's helped you when was the last time you just thanked him for peace in the storm huh? when was the last time you told somebody about the lamb brother Rom laid it out there pretty good huh? we are to propel the gospel part of the church the perpetuity of the church is to keep passing it on God help us you heard Brother Ernie said out there out west, you can go 400 miles without finding a church. We are so blessed. When was the last time you thanked him for your church, your church family? Huh? I don't know about other churches. I know this church, if you're going through something, this church will stand up and rally around you. I thank God for our church. Thank God for all that he's done for us. So let's all stand. Brother Clint, just get your guitar and pick out something for an invitation. Maybe you need to come just tell the Lamb how much he means to you. If you're here today and you're not saved, why don't you come? We'll take a Bible and introduce you to him. There's nobody like him. he changed change your life. he changed change mine. Folks are coming. Folks are praying.
He's getting his guitar. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we love you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for being our lamb. Thank you for always being faithful and true. Lord, you've never disappointed anybody. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we love you. Thank you for first loving us. Thank you for being at peace in the storm. Thank you for pardoning all of our sin, paying the price. Lord, there may be somebody here today that isn't saved. I pray you'd convict them. God, help us see them birthed into the family of God. God, there may be somebody here that's saved, but they've grown cold. God, I pray you just snuggle up close to them and remind them how much you love them. Maybe somebody here hurting, Lord. I pray you just give them a little balm of Gilead. We heard in Sunday school you're a great physician. Help them out, Lord. Maybe somebody here with another need. Father, just pass by their way and help them today. Lord, I just pray your will be done this invitation. Speak to hearts. We'll bless you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. He's Did you know that IBC is now on iTunes, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and Google Play? Head on over to your podcast provider and subscribe today. And as always, thanks for listening.